I've seen many accidents, obviously, but devastation like this, I've been doing this for 34 years. I have never seen this. I'm here in the damage path of where the high-end EF3 tornado touched down Friday evening. Now, based on the visuals that you can see behind me, this home almost completely wiped down to its foundation. The tornado came uh, through the backyards of these houses in the distance here. It turned a corner and came through this yard, as you can see by the trees and the debris field through here and it carried on north in a northbound direction and went through here and across the road and that's where it took out the the mall and then continued on across the road in, in a northerly direction and when i pulled up the first time yesterday it's just like a like a, a horror movie set it's just unreal with the devastation behind us you can see the power of this tornado what winds of 265 kilometers an hour can do This is in a neighborhood in Dunrobin. What you're looking at here, this is actually housing insulation that's almost been painted all over the roads in this community. Now, the reason for this, when the tornado tore through, of course, we had a lot of rain associated with this storm that moved through. When the insulation got picked up, put on the surface, when it mixed in with that rain, it almost turned into a glue. It's been painted all over the roads. It's going to be very difficult to get this up, but what they're hoping to do is to get some maintenance workers to be able to kind of come through, power wash it off and sweep it off. Uh, this is all the steps that are needed to be done to help improve and clean up this community after the tornado.